most dangerous predator animals in prehistoric times. Huge, savage, scary, but extinct. A few thousand years ago, there were animals far more fearsome than today's predators. Do you want to meet them? Well, check them out yourself. Megalodon. This is an amazing and dangerous animal. Its most impressive feature is its big triangular teeth that can be found in many places around the world. Even you might find one if you're lucky. The Megalodon was 42 to 59 feet long, and its weight of up to 103 tons would make you tremble with fear once you knew how much this little fish would have to eat to maintain itself. Plus, its menacing strength required frequent hunting for its highly active metabolism. So, what did the Megalodon eat? Well, basically anything that could fit into its 276 tooth jaw, which could open up to 4.9 feet wide. The evidence won't let me lie as cetaceans like dolphins, whales, sirenians, seals, and sea turtles were found in several fossils with gashes from these terrible teeth. Unfortunately, its extinction was because there wasn't enough food due to climate change and the crucial competition from smaller predators such as the great white shark and killer whales. But don't worry, nowadays you can rest assured watching sharks is colossal as the dreaded megalodon. Tyrannosaurus Rex It's one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs that ever lived. Its fierceness basically comes from its massive four-foot-long jaw designed for maximum bone-crunching experience. Its serrated conical teeth were perfect for piercing flesh, and with a violent neck movement, it ripped it away from its prey. Scientists believe this magnificent predator could eat up to 500 pounds in one bite. It had several preys, and some fossils like Triceratops and Edmontosaurus has been found in the dung of the giant, suggesting that their bones were crushed as it ate them. Fossil evidence shows that this Tyrannosaurus rex was about 40 feet long and 15 to 20 feet tall, a height remarkable enough to terrify anyone, along with its huge hard skull. The Tyrannosaurus rex was native to North America, and it's a dinosaur you won't see alive, but you'll remember it with the magic of movies. Saber-toothed Tiger This kitten will surely remind you a little of the children's film Ice Age, since one of the protagonists is a saber-toothed tiger. This tiger was a formidable predator from the western United States, and over 3,000 saber-toothed tiger's fossils have been obtained from the La Brea Tar Pits in California. The saber-toothed tiger could weigh up to 599 pounds, and its saber teeth measured up to 7 inches. Not bad, right? It was believed to hunt ancient bison, but this huge tiger preferred to hunt other medium herbivores such as tapirs and deer. You'd think they hunted in Great Plains, killing whatever they could. However, after analyzing its tooth enamel, it was shown that it hunted more like a hidden cougar, waiting for the right moment in a well-forested and safe environment, meaning that the saber-toothed tiger would ambush you if given the chance. Dire Wolf This wolf is one of the most imposing in history. It may not be bigger than a Canis lupus, but its predatory attitude ends in a place on this list. The dire wolf had smaller legs, a larger head than its modern cousins, but the same body size. Its weight ranged from 130 to 150 pounds, although some dire wolf specimens could have easily weighed over 175 pounds. This dire wolf was adapted to exclusively eating meat, and its skull was most suitable for hunting compared to modern wolves. What was the diet of this wolf? Well, it fed on different species such as grazing ground sloths, Colombian mammoths, ancient bison, and even yesterday's camel. But actually, it mostly ate any herbivorous animal it found in order to have a diet that kept its hunting instinct alive. Short-Faced Bear Gigantic, very American, and very heavy. Many years ago, there were two short-faced bear species. The South American stood 11 feet tall and weighed up to 3,500 pounds. Meanwhile, in North America, there was a slightly smaller species of this little bear that weighed up to 2,500 pounds. The South American species lived over 500,000 to 2 million years ago, and according to scientists, it would have been the largest and most powerful meat-eater on land at the time. 
Its diet was so highly carnivorous that it had to eat about 35 pounds of flesh to survive every day. According to some theories, it may have hunted wild horses, saiga antelopes, and even prey as large as mammoths. This is all thanks to its excellent eyesight, giant jaw, and strong legs that enabled it to run up to 40 miles per hour, making this short-faced bear a fierce American apex predator. Archaeotherium This one here is the closest thing to what now people call wild boars or pigs. The Archaeotherium was discovered in North America, and its closest relative are the peccaries. However, the Archaeotherium was fully carnivorous and had a much larger skull. It was about 3 feet tall at the shoulder, 6.7 feet in length, and this piggy weighed around 330 pounds. Its carnivorous power was reflected in its diet, as a single one of these giant pigs could kill and chew pretty big animals thanks to its large head and body. It has even been shown that it ate a Pobrotherium, honoring its reputation as a carnivore. You can even find it in video games. Terror Bird It's the largest predator bird in history. Native to South America, it was discovered near the city of Bariloche in Argentina by Guillermo Agarizabala. This bird was over 9.84 feet tall and its head, including its beak, was over 27 inches long. Hence why it's known as the bird with the largest skull of all. It weighed up to 352 pounds, and in case you're wondering, it couldn't fly at that weight. Despite that, this birdie was rather nimble, as it could hunt as well as devour rodents, reptiles, small mammals, and more. It did all this with a high speed of up to 24 miles per hour as an adult, while chicks ran up to 49 miles. Not bad, isn't it? Dunkleosteus Big, hard as stone, and a jaw made of bone. This little fish existed over 360 million years ago and was one of the most terrifying ever. Its fossils have been discovered in several places like North America, Poland, Belgium, and even Morocco. With its armored head, the Dunkleosteus had a quite unusual dental bladed jaw. These teeth were hard as bone. Its size of up to 32 feet long and 3.6 tons in weight made it an apex predator at the time. Its huge, hard skull was 4.2 feet at its widest point, and its armor plates were as much as 2 inches thick. The most incredible thing was its jaw, which was so powerful it had a strength of up to 80,000 pounds per square inch, thus becoming the strongest jawed fish ever. Matsoya Now comes a snake. The Matsoya was a prehistoric snake that lived from 90 to 2 million years ago. It was discovered in Argentina almost a century ago. Its relationship with current snakes is still unknown, but since it belongs to a similar family, it's part of the scientific world. It was approximately 49 to 65 feet long and weighed one ton. It's one of the largest snakes that has ever inhabited the planet. It beats even the largest current anacondas. It's unknown what its prey were exactly, though its hunting habits were probably like a modern boa. How come? Basically, wrapping itself around its prey, then constricting it to death. The appearance of the animal that comes next will leave you confused and wanting to know what exactly it is. There it goes! Gorgonospia It may look like a dinosaur, but it isn't. This is a giant reptile that lived about 250 million years ago. The Gorgonospia was one of the dominant predators on land during the late Permian period. The largest species in this family is the Enostrancevia, as it had a huge size of up to 11.5 feet from head to tail and a weight of 661.3 pounds. Besides, it had a 24-inch long skull and 5.9-inch long teeth. All this granted a unique fierceness to this reptile that had a mammal-like body and was from said Permian period. Its lethality is under no discussion, and it's well portrayed in some modern audiovisual references. Surprised? I am, and now I want to know more about animals. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll be uploading many videos for you to discover more of the animal kingdom. If you want to see more about the prehistoric world, I invite you to watch these videos. See ya!